you like, let's go wrestle. Yeah, it's really convenient. Um, yeah, I tend to watch my flights at work, and like I told you, I just pick up on so much more that I totally missed. Uh, yeah, you know, during the flight. I've got was, a. Oh, I have a freaking Hero Four. Is this for here? Um, I never use it. Okay. All yes, right. technically it is for there, but I don't use it. It's kind of uncomfortable, actually. Are your seatbelt fastened? Yeah. Okay, good. Fasten. All right, everything's good. So, closed. little shutoff valve is on. Yes, sir. Good. And, all right, let's test our controls here. So I'll start first with the cyclic, pardon my reach. And then we got hydraulics here, which make it a little bit more difficult. All right, so that feels good. Pedals. Good. You've been flying the 44 a little bit, right? Maybe yeah, okay. Cross country. And it's been about a month and a half, but I got like 42 hours. Okay. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm not super current in it, but uh, the hydraulics in this, right? They're different than yeah 42. Are they electronically driven or mechanically driven? Uh, Do you remember? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, I would guess mechanical, but they are. They're driven okay. off the engine, right? Yeah. So. If you lose elect electrical power to the helicopter, let's say the battery cuts out or something, mm -hmm. are you going to lose your hydraulics? Nope. No. But will you be able to turn them on and off anymore? Nope. You won't, right? The electricity, yeah. like the hydraulic switch down here and everything, is just for turning them on and off in case of any emergency. Cool. All right, so cyclic pedals, rotor brakes, circuit breakers. All right, I feel good. Uh, landing light is off. Avionics are all off. <clears throat> All right, so clutch is disengaged. Mm -hmm. uh, altimeter, uh, oh, that's right there. So probably a little high, but we'll set that to sixty. Okay. Uh, cool. And so hydraulics are on, and governor is good. All right, so throttle closed, and master strobe. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, cool. So area. Clear. Clear. All right. So, I'm going to hold this here. Yep. All right. So, make sure we're rich. There we go. Uh, and then starter. So, hit the starter. And then... It's not quite yet. This, what is this? Uh, make sure full rich. Make sure guard huh. stone. When did this get in here? Four, 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 two. It's not, this isn't, oh yeah, yeah, okay. We skipped one. I was reading for a second, I was like, so you got area, clear, mixture, rich. Oh, the prime. Ignition, prime, yeah, yeah. then both. I was like, that's is that not on here? You're oh, starting like a 22. Yeah. Okay, can we get a 22 So we just do, here? what is it, two seconds? Uh, it's the first flight of the day, let's go seven full seconds. All right. Oh, that's right, and then you hit the starter button, and then push as it. it starts, as soon as you hear it start to catch, go ahead and push it all the way in. Ours down here at sea level, for some reason, they don't like to. I would hold that off until you uh, push okay. it in. Otherwise, it'll stop you from pushing it in. Um, for some reason, ours don't like to start if you do that. Some 44 start if you slowly push it in the whole time you're doing the mixture. Uh -huh. the starter, I don't know if that's how you guys were. Yeah, so we start and then push in as it's catching. And then uh, as soon as you hear it start to catch, so leave it full out. Uh -huh. As soon as you hear it start to catch, just push it all the way in. Okay, pretty quickly? Yep. All right, and then let go of the starter after it. Uh, yep. Once it's uh, once that's all the way in, let go of the starter. All right, here we go. All the way in. Like that. It's all right. <laughs> go ahead and uh, with it in, prime it for like two more seconds. All right. So I'll leave it in, and then prime it for like two more seconds here. One thousand, cool. two one thousand. All right. Give it another shot. Yeah, this one's stiff. This helicopter's so hard to start too. All right. Ready? Clear? Clear? Yeah, we're still good.
All right. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Sweet. All right. Cool. So, wait for the clutch light to go out. We're going to check our ADIS here. All right. Yep. So, go ahead and switch it on over. Let the whole sort of operations in effect. Five on this contact information, Yankee. Yankee. Uh, and then up here, did you, have you played with the 500 at all? Yeah, it's been a while. A little bit, so I'm just entered to continue. I always leave this on the map. Clear attempt 172.2, altimeter 3008. Alice, runway 30, approach news, runway 30, runway 26 left, runway 26 right in use. Fire frequency 119.4, advise this runway. Enter down here. So that way it starts finding their GPS position. Delivery part check on 118.15, we will position and depart. Point. All ground traffic use 133.0. Land a whole short operations in effect. Five on this contact information, Yankee. Yankee. Alright, clutch light out. So. Long Beach Airport information, uh, Yankee. 2253 Zulu wind call visibility 10. Clear temperature 1 to uh, 60 to 70. Altimeter 3008. Oh, and then let's get the mixture guard on there. Approach news, runway 30, runway 26 left, forget. runway 26 right, right in use. Sir, right about there. Four, runway, so we'll Hot wait for our gauges to get to the green, which they're definitely not, before we do our mag checks, and then try to put our meals. Then try to put our meals. Land a whole short operations in effect, five on this contact information, Yankee. All right, any temperature and wind. Information, Yankee. Cool. Long Beach Airport information, Yankee, 2253 Zulu, wind call, visibility 10, oh, clear temperature 172.2, altimeter 300. What do you say with the temperature? Alice, runway 30, three, approach three, news, runway 30, uh, runway 26 left, runway 26 right in use. Tire frequency 119.4, advise this runway you request. All departing aircraft contact one letters, delivery here. part, taxi on 118.15, position and departure myself. point. All ground traffic use 133.0, land a whole short operations in effect, Five on this contact information, Yankee. Long Beach Tower, Diamond Center, November 636, Alvin Tango, holding... Long Beach Airport, Information Yankee, 2253, Zulu, wind call, visibility 10, clear, temperature 17.2, altimeter 30. Long Beach Tower, runway 26, left, clear for take. All right, 17, so we got uh, 228 and plus... Okay, without delay, uh, 2.8. I got to do math here, so 25.6, okay, so 228, 256. All right, so we are we in the green yet? Uh, not yet. Quite. Let's give it just a tiny bit longer. Um, we've got that all squared away. We're going to be on 1194. We talk on this one normally okay. uh, because the towers can hear us a little bit better than this one. Okay. So those are the right frequencies. Three minutes. Just give it like 20 more seconds. So this gauge has been lagging. Um, so the mechanics, I just go off the oil temperature. Yeah. So you can go ahead and continue on with the checks. All right. So it's green now. Cool. So let's go to 75 and then check our mags. I'm going to take it the right turn, that's approved. Okay, right turn is approved. Right about there, all right. So check left magneto. 1-1000, 2-1000, good. Sweet. And then keep it at 75, go to right magneto. 1-1000, 2-1000, good. Sweet. All right, and then let's bring it up to 80 and then split the needles since it's always a little bit tougher. Sounds good to me. There it is. All right, so I need a split. Cool, so we'll take the frictions off, uh, then we'll check the hydraulics, uh, both on and off, and then uh, check the horn. Sounds good to me. And uh, I'll ask you later. All right, so frictions off. The East Warlow arrivals approved. Report one mile. Friction off. All right, so hydraulics are on, so. Yep, I always move them around, and the big thing with that is to look and make sure you're actually moving the blade. Yeah, so that looks good. All right, then we'll turn them off, and it should be a lot harder. And but you should still be able to move the blade. Yeah, so I see that. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, great, so now roll it up. We'll test the horn. Perfect. And how do you like to test the horn? Do you, uh, do you lift up and then roll down, or roll down and lift up? So I go all the way up. And then I kind of do it a little differently. I What I do with my students mainly is I make them roll to the bottom of the green, then lift up, and then continue rolling. I personally lower and raise at about the same time. Because you don't have to raise very much. It doesn't even take like half an inch to raise. So what I start doing is I start rolling down. And then I like to raise before I get to 97, because I actually like to see exactly where the light horn comes on. Yeah. Um, this one should be right at 97 in here. Yeah, so this one's right at 97. Cool. One of our helicopters is more like 96, 96 to 97. 
Okay. So whenever, do you want to take care of the call or do you want me to grab it? Uh, so we're this doing West Wardlow departure? Yep, so just three straight uh, off the North River turn. West Wardlow, just West Wardlow. All right, we'll go to the beaches first. So we are 4430 Alpha. Yep. Clutch light. Long Beach Tower, helicopter 4430 Alpha. Ross with Yankee. Yep. Look up there, East of 30, Patrick. And uh, where's the volume on this guy? Right there. Uh, east of 30, Patrick, clear for takeoff. Sweet. And then bring this a little bit more to the left. We can probably get rid of some of that vibration. There you go. Cool. Long Beach Tower, helicopter 4430 Alpha, Ross Aviation with Yankee. You request uh, West Ward Low departure. Uh, 4430 Alpha, Long Beach Tower departure, Ross Fiona, West Ward Departure. I have no idea what's approved. 30 Alpha. Approved, 30 Alpha. Approved, 30 Alpha. Yep, he said departing at your own rest, West Wardlow approved. So look left real quick, I don't see anybody. Look right, look right. we look good. So let him pick us up. Make sure the skids are clear. Them, please. Yep, a little bit I got the traffic from the east and the north side. Oh, we're getting light already. Thank you. It's a little bit different, and you have no feedback. Helicopter 616 Romeo, sea launch like a south transition. There you go, skids are clear. You go ahead and start a takeoff. 616 Romeo, let me start a transition. 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 Zero, zero, niner, one, six, Romeo. Man, this thing has so much more power than we've been dealing with. Isn't it crazy? You can cross from my trees through midfield at 500 and line at Rossville. All right, so there we go, 45 knots. Sheriff 19, I do have traffic on the downwind over your ramp about a turn across. You can see why it's a no-brainer if you're buying a helicopter to buy a 44 over a Capri. And then line the sheriff's up behind our tree. All right, so let's go into here. Let's start turning right for those, like, brownish buildings. Seto, you got us back there? Yeah, I can hear you. Cool. Great. Hey, Three Hotel, do you want me to pass behind? Right sure. now, it's pretty cool. If you look out to the left, you can hey, see the harbor and uh, Catalina. All right, so where's Wardlow? It's this road right here. Sure, with the truck cross the intersection. Tough. So the intercept back, is, try and keep uh, that straight between your legs. Cross one, join in final now. I head into your left. Dude, this is crazy. Sure, <laughs> thank you, Roger. We'll uh, go to the south. It, it's it's the, insane uh, how much like smoother around. and okay, more power. And, yeah. And you get to bring friends. Long Beach Tower, helicopter 505 Alpha Juliet over yeah, see, 30 she's at 500. Right we'll make a right 270. It should come up. It'll catch up to us. We're having, we ordered okay, a new uh, one actually. Any Our mechanic has inspected it like three different times, said everything's running okay. properly. Okay. Echo, holding short right. over right. 26 left, ready um, for left foot. But obviously, that right for Zerka, let me start our left foot. Could it only 26, be 210 uh, degrees right now? Maybe, but off. that seems Perfect low to me. So we're doing North River turn? Uh, no, we're going to keep going straight out to the beach, but I like to turn along the river here, or along the 405. So okay. you can turn right here uh, for noise, because the 405 freeway obviously dissipates the most of our noise. And we'll keep climbing up for 700 now. All right, climbing up 700. And we're basically going to go intercept the beach right over here to our left. OK. A tornado of birds. The river has a bajillion of them. Three, 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 if you look off in the distance, it's pretty hard to see right now, but as we get closer, you'll see the Goodyear blimp parked up there. Yeah. We're going to fly directly over that. Cool. Yeah, quick scan. Start climbing a little bit more. At Long Beach Tower, helicopter 505 Alpha Juliet at Ross. Uh, we're going to uh, request the This is the Alameda the corridor. Park. So this is how they get all the trains from the harbor up to Palmer Train Yard. Five up to Long Beach. You can start coming up towards like 900 to 1,000. Departure from right. Ross. I don't climb much higher than 1,000 around here because there's a ton of airplanes that are not talking to anybody. Out you can go direct if you'd like. So they give us a free hey, chance leaving their airspace. So we'll gone. switch now. This right. is our common traffic frequency. Cool. And then next airspace we're going to go through is Hawthorne's. Okay. So Hawthorne's 1211. If you want to go ahead and throw 1211 in the background there. All right. Uh, uh, that's the GPS side of the 430. So the calm side is the left side. One, two, one, one. Yep. All right. There we go. All right, and go ahead and level us off here. And then as we get higher, you can start to see things a little better. You got the blimp ahead to our left. Uh, in like the middle of the golf course almost. Oh, there it is. Yep, cool. And then ahead into the right, we have the StubHub Stadium. That's where the LA Galaxy and the LA Chargers play. That's right. It's a small little thing, right? It's tiny. It looks like a high school stadium. And you see we've got somebody 
500 feet below us, like over there somewhere. It's probably a police helicopter. Helicopter 3, sir, off a blimp site, 1000 northwest bound. They're right in front of us. You see them? Uh, is that the blimp? No, 500 feet below us would be at 500 feet AGL. That's placing it right over the freeway over there. Long Beach Airport information, Zulu 2. See the police helicopter just to the left of the blimp? Wind 29 is out 3. Visit now he's going to be going over the Porsche experience. Oh, I, I had him. Oh, there he is. You got the little orca with a strobe thing. on? Yep. See his strobe blinking on the middle of his helicopter, though. Oh, okay. Um, and then that's the Porsche racetrack out the left window there. If you want to learn to drive a race car down here. Cool. You said, are you getting this? Still here, it's okay? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. You having fun? No. <laughs> <laughs> you having fun? Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a lot more fun when we get to the beaches. There is fog. All right, so next we need to talk to Hawthorne. So I'm going to let you do the call here. Switch us on over to Hawthorne. Okay. And you're going to request a transition west to the shore okay. and then north along the shore. West to the shore and north along the shore. Yep. So I'm going to put on Hawthorne to the back. Um, oh, that one just changes this, so you're going to have to use your uh, fingers down here. Okay. And uh, where are we at? Uh, just say approaching Alondra Park. Alondra Park? Yep. All right. Hawthorne Tower Helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha approaching Alondra Park. Request uh, west transition to the shore and then northwest bound. They take forever to call back in Starball. Southside Tower, copy your request. Take off heading in. 443 Sierra Alpha. Stop 443 Sierra Alpha. Approved as requested and uh, frequency approved as team uh, Alondra Park. Transition approved, 443 Sierra Alpha. Set approved as requested and then frequency change approved at a laundry park. That's this big park right in front of us. Okay. Um, they do that a lot of times because we said we're going north along the shore, so we're going to want to get on with LAX okay. fairly quickly. So if you want to put 119.8 in the background. 119.8. Nope. Cool. And then once we get a little bit past the laundry park, we'll give them a call. Man, I mostly fly Clipper too when I've flown, so I'm not used to like, hitting 110, no sweat. Pretty easily, right? We're at yeah. 21 inches, three people, 110. Yeah. Uh, we have our ground speed up here, so we have a little bit of a headwind, but not much. Hawthorne Tower, 654 in the visual. And then for this one, I like to hit the park, and then can you see that kind of water tower? tower? Yeah. I start aiming for the water tower. Um, and then I come out just a little bit north of it because you can see LAX has a, a Delta airspace right here too. Yeah. So we can't quite go into that without talking to them. Cool. What we're looking at right now though, if you look straight ahead, that's all Malibu, those mountains right there. Uh -huh. And then Point Doom is the farthest point to the south. Point Doom? Yep. You guys remember the movie Iron Man? Yeah. His his house was on that end of that point oh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, movie Iron right. Man. So yeah. that first one he learns how to fly, he takes off from there and flies to Santa Monica. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with LA helicopters. So switch that on over. This one, you're going to say Los Angeles, or LA helicopters. Uh -huh. Helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, Manhattan Beach Pier, request North Shoreline. Okay. Los Angeles helicopter. Okay. Yep, you're calling to LAX Los, up there. Los Angeles Pier, Santa Monica. Uh, we're at Santa Monica, or no, we're at Manhattan Beach Pier. Manhattan Beach Pier, request North Shoreline. Okay. Los Angeles helicopter, uh, 443, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, at uh, Manhattan Beach Pier, request uh, north transition. Up there, 443 Sierra Alpha, LA Tower, includes the Bravo airspace, the, uh, the shoreline route north out of below 150 feet, LA altimeter 3009, squad 0260. 0260, zero, zero, and then just say 0260, zero, zero, cleared shoreline route north. 0260, zero, cleared uh, shoreline north below uh, 150. 3 Sierra Alpha. Hold that, the twin stack there, we've got the wake treatment for a super. Uh, three Sierra Alpha, did you want us to hold at the twins? Up to three Sierra Alpha, hold at the twin stacks. Okay. Three Sierra Alpha, we'll hold at the twin stacks. All right, so he has a super taken off. 457 <laughs> super contact, so it's out of You want to put it back up? Yeah, you're control. Yeah. I've got him all. You got him? <laughs> all right. Can you see the super Airbus taking off too, over to your right? Helicopter okay, 3 Sierra Alpha traffic, less than a mile west of this, and helicopter southbound at 600. 3 Sierra Alpha traffic in sight, we'll maintain visual. Okay. Uh, you got them all. Controls. 
Where's so you can see the heavy taking off and the helicopter's at our 12. So, so this is the Manhattan, Manhattan Beach Pier right here. If you want, you can kind of do a circle around it because we have to so hold for a second. So you can turn left if you want. Point so you can see it out the right windows. All right. Or however you want to. Yeah, that's good. Making sure we maintain separation with that guy. Yeah, we're pretty far away. Point six five and those five pop Yankee heavy. And I'll spin around right about here. And then you can see all the way up. These are the famous California beaches to the right there. So this is Manhattan. This is probably the best one to live on. Twenty eight turn wind two four right clear to land wind two four zero at six. Where's my VSI in the sucker? Right here. Oh, okay. Minus so three hundred feet per minute. We only got uh, electronic VSI. Yeah. No problem. So where are we over right now? This is Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah, probably one of the nicer ones to live on. Uh, if you can get a house at the beach and you want to live on the beach in LA, uh -huh. this is where I would go. Uh, unless you want to leave LA and go to Orange County, then Laguna is a little bit nicer and Newport's nicer. Yeah, that's but pretty as far as LA <laughs> County goes, this is really nice. Yeah, I looked up that house you showed me and Oh, you looked it up? Yeah, sure. A correction, King Air 3, Alpha Sierra at the shoreline. Turn right heading 271, runway 24 left over takeoff. What is this? The Manhattan Pier? Yeah. Uh, that's actually an aquarium on the end of it. Well, it's 919 LA Tower, runway 24 right, left runway. So let's go ahead and start heading north along the shore. They should probably be about ready to let us through. All right. Um, so keep us off the shore probably about this much. Okay. And start descending us. So oh, you can start. Yeah, we got to. Straighten us out. I don't like to get too low because of the noise here. These people get mad and they're all trying to watch the sunset. You can see all the surfers up here too. Yeah. This is like one of the most famous surf spots here in California. Solaris 919, turn left heading 210. Runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. That heavy. 2601, LA Tower, runway 24 left, line up and wait. Copter 3 0 Alpha, thanks for your base. Cleared through Bravo airspace. Here's for line under below 150 feet. LA altimeter 3009. Cleared north. Cleared north. 3 0 Alpha. Sweet. So keep us coming down. We need to be at 150 feet by that break wall. Okay. So what are we at right now? We're at like 260. So Dang, man. This is so low. <laughs> and you got all the surfers. You can wave to them. <laughs> All right, sweet. Level us off right about three here. Three Alpha Sierra, turn right heading 271. That's confusing. They've got a three Alpha Sierra. Yeah. <laughs> sweet. And then, yeah, I like to fly about 85 to 90 through here uh, because you'll notice we're a lot closer to the birds. Yeah. Solid 705, reverse Yankee approved, hold short over on my two, four left. Pretty cool transition, though, isn't it? This is nuts. <laughs> what do you think, Seta? Three Alpha Sierra, contact South Alpha Parcher. Those are, those are those are all uh, oil boats out there pumping oil. Man, nobody's out here on the beach. Cold. Uh, Forty-two nine cold Sunday. Sunday. Four LA people want no part of it. <laughs> this is freezing for people in LA. Yeah. I feel like a snob now. I came out of my house this morning walking my dog, and I thought my bones were turning into icicles. <laughs> and I'm from Reno, right, where it's like negative twenty. Yeah. It's not that cold, but. Yeah, when I lived in Pasadena. Uh, for a summer, uh, or once they canceled the picnic, it was overcast, but 85. Canceled the picnic? Yeah, they're like, dude, it ain't changing weather. It's like, dude, it's 85, it's just a little cloudy. <laughs> yep. So one Lower thing to keep in mind when you're flying low project. like this, yeah. I try not to get too close to shore. I have plenty of times been flying along, and I see kites as high as we are. Oh, yeah, too short. Uh, there's nothing, they can't have drones here at all, but there's nothing stopping people from flying kites, right? Yep. So. I, uh, I try to stick, if you stick right with the end of the brake walls, uh -huh. that's like the perfect distance out. Cool. And in just a second, you're gonna be able to see right down the runways of LA. There's 2601, contact, look at the parking. See another plane Three. taking off over there? Yeah, we'll probably be ahead of them. Yeah. Oh, we're low enough, there are already oh, a yeah. thousand. 4290, you're on runway 24 left, there for takeoff. Got like a weird line of birds, you see that? Shit, yeah, let's hope they stay. Uh -huh. yeah, 23, early turn, runway 24 left, line up and wait. Oh, a little bit of wake there, that's... 19, 20 at Alpha, Alpha, hold short, over runway 24 left. I can't believe this transition exists. Isn't it cool? All right, go ahead and uh, say 3 Alpha. 3 Alpha, Alpha, and we'll now leave Los Angeles, Bravo Airspace. Keep your spot, contact yeah. Alamo Tower, 120.1. 120.1, we'll keep the squad. 3 Alpha. Sweet, so let's go ahead and switch it on over. I got you there already. All right. You remember, you got to use your you got to reach cool. down. Who am I talking to? Santa Monica Tower. So let's kind of climb to the left. 
Uh, Santa Monica Tower, three Alpha, request north along the road. Number five, stop us here directly five below you, same north direction north. as the helicopter altitude indicates 1,000. You're following on Lance on a two mile final. Do you see them both? Yep, keep climbing up to the left a little bit more. Affirmative, if you pull four zero five, pop us here. Number five, Papa Sierra, follow the Lance, runway 21, clear to land. Let's get a little faster climb going on. All right. Santa Monica Tower, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, request uh, transition north along the shore. November 5, 6, Quebec, contact ground. Left here the intersection. Yeah. So that way we don't get into the airspace too much. Quebec, uh, down ground. A little aft. Get November us 443 Sierra Alpha, go. Santa Monica Tower, transition approved. Santa Monica altimeters 3008. 3008, transition approved. 3 Sierra Alpha. Bring us up to 500 feet. Zero, Joe, did you want to cross over towards Hollywood now, or where are you That's, going to do uh, that? That's Marina del Rey out to the right, the largest man-made marina right in the whole entire United States. Okay, that works. Wow. <laughs> and then this is the Venice Beach Pier right here. Dude, you're like an L.A. pro. Yeah, Santa Monica, <laughs> I give so many of these tours. <laughs> if you want it, I could just like tour talk the whole time. Yeah, yeah man, dude. Get bored of, we're off order. Right 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 we're tourists. Uh, um, even so though, from here, alpha as a pilot, I would fly straight towards the end of Santa Monica Pier. It keeps alpha, you distance from the shore so you guys can see. Alpha four, okay. five, six, rolling. This is Muscle Beach here. This is where they used to film like um, Baywatch with Pamela Anderson and David Hasselhoff. Cool. And it's with the skate park and all the, where Arnold Schwarzenegger used to lift on the beach. Five, Papa Sierra. And if you look inland, you can see Santa Monica Airport over there. We're going to have an IFR departure, and then there's a jet. That's I'll bring you back. That's the airport that Harrison Ford crashed when he was taking off. He had an engine failure on takeoff and crashed around. He's a helicopter driver, right? I don't know about helicopter. I know he flies planes a lot. I've heard he's got a 206. It wouldn't surprise me. He flies a lot. Uh, this is where Santa Monica Beach starts. All right, Golf Bravo would like to exit Bravo 1 or Bravo 2. November 8, Golf Bravo. And then as we get a little closer, Everywhere what I'd recommend is a little ground. left turn and then a nice right orbit. Exiting okay. Bravo 1, we'll contact here. ground. 8, Golf Bravo. And some of the guys, helicopter 975, Mike, Mike, Kaiser, Kaiser, like, like, it sounds usually from the pier. Yep, to help break the waves from the pier. November 975, Mike, Mike, Santa Monica Tower. So, do right there. Right there. Monica, so what I like to do is I start a little climb helicopter near Kaiser Cadillac and a right, um, right turn here. Cedar Sinai, opposite direction, altitude indicates nine or hundred. Okay. And five, then five. I start heading inland. November here. five six Lima, runway two one, clear for takeoff. November 7, Sierra <laughs> Juliet, traffic two miles ahead, altitude indicates one thousand one hundred frequency change. November 5, Mike, Mike, head towards Marina Del Rey, and then as requested along the coast. You can start heading to the left. Yeah. And then as requested, follow Mike, Mike. Three Sierra Alpha, request East to LA, Country Club. November 3, Sierra Alpha, approved as requested. Three Sierra thank you. November 5, Papa Sierra. So all I did was request it east to the Country Club. That's a... Uh, we're going to fly to over here, although I'm going to have you so we can check out some of the cool houses. Uh, fly straight towards the Getty Center and keep a climb. Let's go up to like 1,000. November 200. Bravo Kilo, follow a phenom over the Twin High Rise. Man, this is so much more smooth than the Cabri, man. The Cabri or 22 doesn't keep up with the 44. Yeah. Keep on my base, 7 Bravo Kilo. November 7 Bravo Kilo, I will. Uh, but he is just Where coming you up for altitude? off to your left 1, now. 1,000, 100, 1,000. Traffic inside. It's all for noise abatement. So Number this is um, Brentwood Country Club in uh, front of us. Within the next 30 seconds. And then you'll see some real nice Runway houses coming up land. here. Uh, Brentwood Country Traffic Club. So right behind it, I haven't found it from the air yet, but that's where the uh, no, house like Fresh Prince of Bel Air is. Uh, you can see one. the Country Club is south of nice. November 801, Papa Sierra. Which, uh, which city are we over right now? Brentwood. Brentwood? Okay. We just left Santa Monica. Uh, that's the Getty Museum up on the hill. Yeah. A nice Park art museum. Right there on the 405, right? And then I like to, yep, I like to kind of start to turn right here. Five mile three each. Okay, four here. Okay, I don't know if it's going to stick. Please, 16 Santa Monica Tower, South Santa Cruz, Santa Monica, Santa Cruz. Give it another shot. There you go. Switch up. 308, 316. So, five, six, <laughs> Lima, contact. So, we don't have, um, contact so Cal 5, 6, Lima. We don't have doors off, so it's not like it's going anywhere if it falls off. And then we're getting to Brentwood, so you can see the house is down here, super nice. Yeah. The house from French Prince is over here somewhere. On a two mile base report when you have I don't know. You guys know who Dan Bilzerian is? Who? you follow Dan, Dan Bilzerian guy at all? Dan Bilzerian, Dan Bilzerian, that party poker player guy. Uh, no. He's got a really cool house right over here. November eight, Bravo, Bravo, uh, but I like to turn right a little bit here. Visual approach runway two one. Uh, this is UCLA, down here to the right. Oh, this, uh, November this down there. 5, yep. Papa Sierra, make a left 360. 
And then as we come through here, it's fun just to kind of check out some of the houses. Yeah. Um, as soon as we get on the other side, this is the 405 and that Getty Museum out on the left there. Uh -huh. So this is uh, Beverly Hills, right? Bel Air. Bel Air. This is Bel Air here. Uh, Beverly Hills is right over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if you kind of look around, this one I think has one of the coolest pools I found. This house straight ahead of us. <laughs> If you want to do like a little left S10, you can through here. There's some insane houses built at the side of these mountains. Right. That crazy party poker player guy singing about that's his house. Holy Isn't shit. that insane? That is nuts. Who are these people? <laughs> that's that damn Bilzerian guy that's built into the side with all the cars on his driveway. Yeah. Um, Dude, holy cow. Look at like some of these houses, aren't they insane? Oh man. November one Papa Sierra, runway two one clear for takeoff traffic. And then right down to the right, if you start heading this way a little bit. Clear for takeoff, runway two one, one Papa Sierra. So this is Bel Air Country Club that we're over right now. Wow. Just a little bit more and oh, I mean, it's straight us out here. Right and follow you in. Hey, the bomb. biggest house in LA is right over here. It's the um, Spelling Manor. So if we keep going straight, the Spelling Manor, if you look, it's kind of hard to see from here. So see that empty dirt lot? Yeah. The one just south of that, that was Walt Disney's house when he was alive. That, and then if you keep, kind of sandy one? Yeah, the sandy colored one. And yeah. then if you keep going down, there's a big one in the trees that looks like a W. That's the spelling oh, man. Oh, I see. And then we're actually flying right over the Playboy Mansion right there with the under construction backyard. Oh, okay. That's the Playboy Mansion right there. Wow. And then the you grotto. can start a left Dude, turn here. Let's go to the grotto. I know, right? And then that's the... Um, Beverly Hills Hotel, that big pink looking thing I guess, or Whitney Houston overdosed. How are we doing on time here? Yeah. 27 minutes, cool. Yeah, I got plenty of time, so. Okay, cool. Don't worry about racing back or. November 1, Papa Sierra, yeah. extend Pretty departure cool. leg to the beach. Um, Extending departure leg to the and beach. And then there's a rumor, if you head up this way, can you kind of see that right Papa where the Sierra hill starts, there's a white house built on the base of the hill? Uh, I think Turning so, yeah. Workers are one it's come up a tiny bit. Yeah, it's going to be like straight ahead of us in a second. There's a rumor that that's Elon Musk's house. But I don't wow, know if that's true This is kind of palatial one. Uh, right it there. looks like a mini White House. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Mike, Mike, Can you put it down? I know, right? Landing. <laughs> How cool would that be, huh? Um, although, if you keep going straight for a second, out the right window, I think this house has one of the coolest courtyards I've found. So straighten it up for just a second. It's right here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Number 7, Bravo wow. Kilo Exit, Bravo 3, contact ground. Yeah, I've been, the rumor says that's Elon Musk's house with the oval pool in front of it. Yeah. It would make sense to me, but. Me too. I don't know for sure on that one. What's this uh, weird color thing? That's the California Art Design Center. Uh, that would make sense. Yes, I do. Here we go. Thank you. And uh, go ahead and request a frequency change. Who are we talking to? Uh, Santa Monica. Santa Monica Tower, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, request frequency change. November 3 Sierra Alpha traffic two miles ahead. Altitude indicates 1,200. Slow moving. Squawk VFR, frequency change free. Traffic inside. Uh, squawk VFR, frequency change free. 3 Sierra Alpha, thank you. Sweet. So we're going to do uh, VFR. Oh, VFR button. It's uh, bottom right of the circle. Oh, there you go. There you go. And then there's the Beverly Hills Center where all the fancy people shop. The big mall. And we'll head to the left here. towards uh, Bring me right towards the Hollywood sign. Oh, there it is. Um, they have the red carpet out, actually. They're doing the Hollywood parade tonight. So if you want to check out the red carpet real quick, we can fly right over that. Yeah, sure. Number eight, Bravo, Bravo. Yeah, let's get on our next one here. Over the ground. Eight, Bravo, Bravo. Um, although we're going to keep a little bit of altitude for this one so we don't piss them off. We don't want them to start banning <laughs> helicopters from flying over. Look up to three Sierra Alphas, uh, half mile east of the Blue Whale. We'll be northbound towards Hollywood sign. We have the police chopper in sight. I call that five Mike Mike, the tank and the PCH move on to the canyon, 1,000. All right, so um, keep going straight. It's going to be out our right in just a second. Uh, okay. well, we're going to turn left, and then it's going to be out our right. So if you look, can you kind of see that football field starting to pop up by the trees? Yep. Got it. So that's right where it is, so we're going to want to turn before that. So almost over these two white buildings that look the same. Yeah. If you can fly us like almost directly over those, you'll see the Hollywood Walk of Fame with the red carpet out right now. It's going to be out the right window in a second. Okay. I'll try to give her a view here. Yeah. So uh, you still got the police guy, right? Yep. Got him. Yep. Actually, if you just keep flying like this, she's going to get a pretty good view. Just right down the street right here. Yep, the we this one right here with the Roosevelt Hotel. You'll see it in just oh, a second. There it is. I got it. You got it, Seta? Oh yeah. You can see the red carpets all laid out. Yeah. It's pretty funny. 
Wow. See? What's that? Uh, what's that building down there? Uh, the Dolby Theater in front of it. Let's go ahead and start a left turn here and get me climbing up. Let's All go to right. 1,600. 1,600. And then this is the Hollywood Bowl out to our left, where the concerts happen all the time. Oh, wow. Burbank Tower, helicopter 443, Sierra Alpha, Hollywood Bowl, request to orbit a universal and exit to the southeast. 443, Sierra Alpha, Burbank Tower, Burbank altimeter is 3010, stand by for your squawk. Sierra Alpha. Sweet. And we might as well do a touch and go. 0265. Salvo 4300, contact the helicopter. 0265, I'm yeah. Confirm, 0265 for 3 Sierra Alpha. 0265 for 3C Alpha. 0265, 3 Alpha, thank you. You can see the airport way off in the distance. That's where we touch and go the other night. Yeah, we might as well do it, actually. Just if we're in, you want to do it, yeah. Number yeah. three. Make it cross country. Juliet Echo, yeah, runway uh, 15, line up, only traffic landing, runway 8. Can you, under your feet, can you find me the ATIS for Burbank? Juliet Echo. Ah, fuck. Shit. B U R. 1345. 1345. 1, 1, all right, so give like the half circle. The this is universal. Radar contact four miles south of Burbank Airport. Is so it going to do an orbit and then southbound, or an orbit and then westbound? Three star alpha. Actually, uh, request to amend and come in and do a touch and go. We're going to listen to Aegis right now. Three star alpha, make right traffic to runway eight. Traffic will be a Gulfstream departing runway one five here momentarily, climbing southeast down. Three star alpha, right traffic for eight, looking for the Gulfstream. Thank you. So there's the Universal Studios, you can see the Hollywood. Bottled, ground one, two, three, point Harry nine. Potter. I'm parking at Hangar 1 Alpha, can I go right on Charlie 6? Right on Charlie 6 for 7650. Right on Charlie 6. So you're right through 6 here. Uh, you can do a quick whip around if Burbank you want, so you can see it. Information tango, and we'll come back this way, too, so. We're through 8084. I would bring it in here to the left now. And then we'll come back and finish the rest of that. Just so that we don't do a circle with that. So, clear for takeoff. Bring us to the left. Clear for takeoff. What was that? Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Let's head over to the left here. Clear for takeoff. 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 So they have a golf course. Sierra Alpha, runway 8 west of Delta 8, clear for touch and go. 8 west of Delta 8, clear touch and go. 8 west of Delta, clear touch and go. 3 Sierra Alpha. Number 3 Sierra Alpha, runway 8 west of Delta 8, west clear Delta for 8. touch and go. And you're staying in the pattern or just doing one? 3 Sierra Alpha, 8 west of Delta 8, clear touch and go. And just one and then a departure to the south towards Hollywood, please. Okay, so go ahead and start yourself. Uh, she's not going to make us listen to this, so we'll skip that. Can you see the runway right there? Yeah. So the other night we came and landed on the yeah, uh, north and south one. Okay, so we're that Gulf Stream taking off to the right. Cool. So we'll go, uh, yeah, I got him. All right, so we'll go right base here. Uh, yep, exactly. All right. And sure we're clear for touch and go, so we'll come down, tap them, and yep, we just can't, we cannot pass Delta 8 taxiway, okay. which basically keeps us short of the other runway. We're okay. not allowed to pass that other runway. Cool. I would get that. And she clears for touch and go, so we're good to go. Yep. Come in. Remember, we got to touch the kids, though. Yeah, okay. So lights are out, gauges are green. See if she's popping up. So let's go ahead and get us down to 15 and start slowing down here. Yeah, no. It's not enough, though. We'll, uh, I need to have the mechanic change that out. Okay, so we got wires down there, no factor. So one kilo Lima, start your descent for van or Whiteman traffic pattern altitude. I know that two thousand. Start slowing us down now. All right. We don't want to end up in a too much of a flare, like quick stop as we get towards the runway. Yeah. So I'll try and get us. Well, <laughs> shit. Um, do you want to? Yeah, you take them. I got to Try and grab that real quick. You don't no. want to get it, the pedals yeah, jammed while we're landing not. here. All right. Uh, you can have the controls back if you want, and then I can grab that from you. All right. I can take that camera. Uh, I you got, got it. it okay for now? Yeah, I got it for now. Burbank Tower, Falcon. Uh, All right, let's just aim for the 1,000 foot markers. All right. Falcon 913, Sierra Tower, Burbank Tower, Roger. Actually, I think that's Delta 8 anyways. November 90 Bravo, radar service terminated. Contact Van Nuys Tower. down. Don't go any farther forward. Bravo, good night. My pedal. Yeah, right pedal. <laughs> Bring us down. We're a little high on this hover, right? Yep. So notice how much power we're holding. Five minutes. Yep. Go ahead and bring us all the way down. 
Right Tower, Sheriff 29 is back with you, still squawking 0236, hangar 34, like to depart direct northeast through Whiteman. Sheriff 29, Burbank Tower, squawk 0262, reposition taxiway Delta and hold. Sheriff 29, Roger, 0262 on the squawk and everything. Sweet. All right. All right, and then go ahead and uh, let's just say 3 Alpha, runway 8 and Delta okay, 8 request. 3 Sierra Alpha, southbound departure is approved. Southbound departure approved. Southbound departure approved, uh, 3 Alpha. All right, let's go ahead and do a maximum. Sheriff 29, taxiway Delta, clear for takeoff, northbound departure is approved. Can you get any higher than this? Sure, let's get a little bit of speed this way. Number one kilo Lima, radar We're going to need our speed, so go ahead. Pick up some speed. And don't go over this jet. Yeah, to the left there? Yeah, we'll go right in the left of it. And then I would turn right. Right as this building ends. Yeah, there we go. And then get us some altitude so we don't hit any wires. And turn more right. She's not going to want us to cross the other runway. Sweet. November 3, Sierra Hotel for Big Tower. Expect six minutes. Six minutes uh, cool. All right, there's your... <laughs> she didn't even add that much time. I'll grab that cross country. All right, uh, you mind uh, grabbing the controls? I've got them all. You got them? Uh, what's going on here? All right, I'm just going to turn this off. Do you want to give that to me? Yeah, there you go. All right, I got them. You've got all controls? Got them. Cool. So how I would do this now so that we can finish Three off the... Contact. Three seven. Um, the again, like we did the other night, see the building with the red letters. Yep. I'd bring us up to about 1,400 1, and fly straight towards that. Sure, Tina, I see a few. All right, well, that was a success. Had to come down super steep, but uh, didn't pass. Yeah, the, the only thing, I, exactly. The only thing I recommend with that, and it's tough in the 44s because they fly so fast, so easy. Yeah. Um, is you got to get in the habit of losing airspeed earlier in the game. It's way easier to make it work if you're slow on airspeed than it is yeah. to make it work if you're high on airspeed. Exactly. Yeah, I was. I should have put it down near 10 uh, earlier and just uh, pulled aft a little bit more. Especially, the, it's so easy after flying so much time in the Cabri <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you bored? I know. I was just asleep. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, cool. So one four is good. I would keep coming up this way until about that golf course and then do a nice kind of sharper left turn. Okay. And that way we can finish off the orbit of Universal here. That's Warner Brothers Studios down there too. I still haven't found the Animaniacs yet, but uh, I'm looking. You're looking. Cool. And then, yeah, here's where I'd maybe start that left turn. Universal City. This is uh, Universal, Universal Studios. We're in Studio City. These houses aren't so small either. Yeah. Yep, so keep coming left and then level us out here in a second and we'll actually do a climbing right turn, a nice shallow climbing right turn towards the mountain. Okay. Uh, but wait so that you can see, this is uh, the New York out the right, Universal Studios, fake New York, it's where they film all their movies. And then they have down here in the water area with the lights on, that's where they film Jaws. That's Jaws' uh, harbor. <laughs> and then that's where they did the seven, Crash 747 from War of the Worlds. To the yeah, still, still there. It's funny, that they have, it's funny that they kept Trump it all. 4072, uh, they do it as tours now. All right, let's try and get up to 1,800. 1,800. This is Mount Lee off to the left, so a lot of people like to come over here and hike because you get this view on clear days. You can see all the way to Catalina. And, and then as soon as we get a little bit higher, these people complain about noise all the time. Let's give it a tiny bit aft and left cyclic just to pop us up real quick. Out the left window is going to be the Hollywood sign. Boom. There we go. And as soon as we get 1,000, perfect. You can start heading this way. You can imagine a lot of traffic comes flying through here, so these people are, like, on the phone ready to complain if you're low yeah. enough for them to complain about you. There's that Hollywood sign. Number 3, Sierra Alpha, Squawk VFR, radar service, turn in 3, change proof. 3, Sierra Alpha, VFR, have a good day. You're right, right ahead of me. All right. You want to, yeah, go ahead oh, and take care matter. of it. <laughs> there we go. And then go ahead and put us on 12302. 12302. There we go. So this is common traffic again? Yep, so let's go ahead and uh, why don't you make this next call? This is 3 Sir Alpha at Griffith Observatory, southeast bound for downtown. All right, at Griffith, uh, I can't even say that. At Griffith Observatory. <laughs> at Griffith, that's what I'm going to go with. All right. Uh, what's the, uh, the, let's keep coming over towards these, these trees right here. Los Angeles traffic. Uh, just say our tail number and where you are. Okay. 
This is the Griffith Observatory, the Space Museum. Cool. Yep. Helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, Griffith Observatory, uh, southeast bound. Sweet. Um, and then I'd start heading this way. So there's a couple other cool things up here we can check out if you want. I don't know if you're into sports at all. Dodger Stadium is straight ahead of us right now. Boo! Uh, you a Giants fan? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I don't got to take a pee so we can skip it. <laughs> or if you're just kidding, we can, get, we can check it out real quick. Uh, it's up to I'm you, a huge uh, baseball guy. So are you? I went there actually about a couple years ago just for fun. Two years ago. Um, but I'm a Giants fan, so fuck I, I followed the Giants a little bit when they had Wilson. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, he's a character. That was technically supposed to be our favorite team, right, living in Reno. Everybody yeah. was Giants fan. Everybody. But I became a Tigers fan somehow. Oh. But uh, why Wilson? That's just everybody. Like, that was the big thing when I was in college was Fear the Beard, you know? Oh, yeah. That was the thing. So I was like, all right, I'll follow them a little bit. And then they won the World Series. Yeah. This is Silver Lake right here. Thank you. Doesn't uh, look too silver. I know, right? It looks like not very nice at all, but it looks like they've actually got some sort of light thing going on. And see the Dodger Stadium straight ahead of us? Yeah. Uh, directly over fly. <sighs> you tired? What are those monsters on the left? Uh, so the left, that's Mount Baldy over there with the snow on it. Uh-huh. And then the one straight down that's kind of covered by the cloud, that's Big Bear. Oh, okay. You can go ahead and bring us down to 1,500 is fine. All right, 1,500. A little closer, and then for my, to get good views out the right, especially if you want to get a picture of Dodgers in the background, and downtown in the background, I kind of aim for this, like, upper level uh, parking spot. And then we'll make a call and say, three south uh Dodgers, 1,500, and then down uh, departing towards downtown. Helicopter 443, Sierra Alpha, Dodgers at 1,500, uh, departing towards downtown. Still pretty cool to see the, it's under construction right now, but. LHF, Vega 3, Sierra approaching Staples Center, left hand orbital, 1,500. Cool. So you got some pictures for me, Seta? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures. Okay. <laughs> I'll send it to my Dodger friend. Uh... Make him real jealous, man. Yeah. So what I like to do here, too, another kind of fun one, is if you climb us up to the right here, obviously we're going to want downtown out the right window, right? Uh -huh. But I would climb us up to about 1,700 or 1,800, aim right towards those like grass fields to our right there. See the like grass baseball field down there? Yeah. So aim towards those. And then what you can do is kind of do like a nice steep left turn and then a, at 1,700 or higher, and then a right turn orbit around downtown. It puts a really nice view out of your guys' windows. Cool. And you're just the master tourman, dude. You know, the <laughs> angles and... <laughs> doing this for a while. <laughs> Get the best selfie if you like. Uh... No, yep. <laughs> cool. Man, look at this guy and everything tonight. It's beautiful. Yeah. Cool, yeah, I would start that left turn now and then almost aim. So that's City Hall down there to the left. Uh -huh. um, so I'd almost aim the helicopter though towards that like big square silverish building. You see it? Yeah, way down there. Yep. And then that way out the right window, you can do a nice shallow right turn and you'll have killer views of the tall buildings of downtown. Cool. Let me know when to start the right turn. Uh, whatever you think that's going to be like a good view for you guys. The biggest thing with flying, you can start that right turn now. Is you don't ever want to directly overfly the stuff you're looking at, right? Yeah. You can't see it. <laughs> as a pilot, I, I can see why you have that tendency, you know. Or I do have that tendency. But, yeah, as a, somebody doing a tour, photos, so I can see why. <laughs> yep. That's one of the biggest things when I train our new tour pilots. Because in training, that's what you're taught. Yeah. You're taught to fly directly to your target and then skip to the next one. Yeah. you got Staples Center and Ritz-Carlton down there. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah. So there's somebody right behind us. Look up to three, Sir Alpha is at Staples, 1,500 right-hand orbits. What's that arena down there? Uh, that's the Coliseum. You want to head that way? Sure. Guy behind us. Uh... You can see him here. He's going the opposite way. Okay. So. He's almost at our altitude. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You're back on with uh, LA helicopters. Go ahead and bring us down. 
And you're going to say Los Angeles or LA helicopters, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha at USC requesting South Harbor. Southwest, South Harbor. Alpha, Alpha, South Alpha, Alpha, South Alpha, Harbor. South Harbor. South Harbor. Yep. Yep. LA helicopters, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha at USC request uh, South Harbor. 443 Sierra Alpha, LA tower cleared through Los Angeles Bravo Airspace as requested. LA altimeter 3009 or squad 0214. Cleared. 0214, cleared as requested. 0 2 uh, one four, cleared as requested. Number 6080, contact took yep. out departure. Sweet, and then start a little left turn here. We're going to follow this freeway down at or below 900 feet. And then that's the Coliseum where the Rams play. Yeah, wow, it's close to downtown. Wow. I had no idea. That's cool. The Rams finally did decent. They destroyed the Cardinals today. Wow. And who, who is this right here? This is Bank of California, so this is the LAFC, the footy club. Oh, okay. The footy club. I had no idea USC was uh, that close to downtown. It is. Uh, but the area around USC, you can level off right here. It's somehow it's good. The area around USC is not very nice at all. It's, um, as soon as you leave the campus, it's so ghetto. David and I, the other Cabrera instructor you flew with, uh -huh. we went and watched the Rams game recently. Uh -huh. And we decided to explore a little bit while we were up there because it got out at like 8 o'clock. Uh-huh. And uh, it's, <laughs> we like left and then we go right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is kind of like the more ghetto area. It's actually probably one of those. Do you guys remember that whole thing for Nipsey Hussle when he died? Yeah. That was all right down. This is Slauson right here. Uh -huh. That was all right down there. Wow. Four left clear for takeoff. Oh. Um, and then this is all like Inglewood and North Inglewood. This, this area, really you don't want to get stopped. Left left and we kind of joke around that if we ever had to like an emergency over here and we had to land the helicopter on one of these streets or something, that the <laughs> helicopter would probably be stripped of parts before we actually landed. Wow. Uh, go ahead and bring us up just a little bit. Short of runway 24 left. Like 700 is fine for this. All right. Talk about the best way to beat the traffic though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad right now though. No, it's the Sunday afternoon. Yeah, um, <laughs> absolutely. But still, this is a Sunday, right? And you can see it's slowing down. You can see them going right over us. Still 12 LAX contact, over there. Still departure. That was another thing that was weird when I first started flying here is how close we actually get to some of these planes. Yeah. See if we get any turbulence. I felt a little bit Alpha and two miles living Los Angeles Bravo airspace and keep your squawk and contact Hawthorne Tower 121.1. That was not nice, was it? Yep, 1211, one. have a good day. 1211, have a good day, thank you. Uh, 3 Sierra Alpha. There you go. Two, four, left, third, All right, so put in 1211. 1, 2, 1211. Yep. All right, and then, so yeah, it doesn't work. And then now you're on with Hawthorne Tower, so just say Hawthorne Tower, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha requesting South Harbor. Hawthorne Tower, helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, request uh, South Harbor. Helicopter 443 Sierra Alpha, Hawthorne Tower, approved as requested, up to minute 3008. Approved as requested, 3 Sierra Alpha. Sweet. You, I think I saw you and David went and did a touch and go at Hawthorne, right? Yeah. You see the SpaceX building and everything? Yeah, it was crazy, man. All sorts of kind of cool over there, but there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is the 110 105 interchange. So this is, um, if you guys saw the movie La La Land ever, yeah. this is, remember the beginning scene when they're dancing on the freeway? Uh -huh. That's this big right turn uh, elevated here. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then Transformers, this is the one that they blew up. And same with uh, Live Free or Die Hard, when Bruce Willis jumps on the wing of that F-35, <laughs> they, were, they were in this interchange here. Is that public transportation in the middle? What's going yep. on there? Uh, bus station. Oh, okay. Weird. There's a bus stop on the middle, I know. Isn't that weird? Oh, it's uh, no, it's not. It's a train. I thought it was a bus. There's a train station in the middle. Oh. Huh. Um, at this point, it's up to you. You're more than welcome to continue following. A lot of times what I do is I just follow one of these side roads. Okay. Uh, this is Compton out here to our left. Compton. Did you guys touch at Compton as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he told me his joy in, in telling Long Beach uh, straight out coming of straight out of Compton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compton's one of those airports that you, I try not to, I don't ever really train there uh, because there's so, so many planes there. Squawk VFR, Frigate approved, yep. Squawk VFR, Frigate approved, 443 Sierra Alpha. There's so many um, planes that come around there that aren't talking and they just land 
Huh. So we've had we've had our school alone has had two instances where a plane almost ran into a helicopter. Damn. And the instructor grabbed controls and ripped it off to the side of the the runway. Why? Uh, what's going on there? I mean, is they just it, don't it, talk. It's all uncontrolled. Wow. How do you not talk even if it's uh, uncontrolled? That's nothing silly. legally is saying you have to, right? So you yeah. get a lot of old timers that just don't want to deal with anything. Damn, man. If you're really good at it, you can sneak your way in and out of there without talking to anybody. There's a couple ways you can go. Yeah, you don't have to talk to anybody and you get out of there. That's crazy. I never get over these views, isn't it crazy? Yeah. Cool. So um, at this point right here, there's we're back at like the blimp site. Yeah, I think it's down there. Cool. So uh, there's a couple different things you can do. I'll let you decide to go back in on the West Wardlow. We get Adis right here and kind of follow the freeway. Uh huh. Uh, it takes you right to the Wardlow, or you can keep going out to the harbor and then come in on South Redondo through like downtown Long Beach area. Yeah, let's go South Redondo. Yeah. Um, so then you've got a nice map right here. You can see if we zoom ahead here, this is Torrance's airspace. Uh -huh. And over here, that's Long Beach's airspace. Okay. So if you just kind of aim to the left, yeah. you can get right through the middle of them, all right? Cool. So should I start a kind of left bank here? Or Yep, just, I would kind of turn to the left as we get a little closer, almost to those popcorn lights over there. Popcorn lights. It's like the the refinery lights. Yeah, there's like oh, a, gotcha, a yeah. bunch of little small ones. Yeah. And let's come up a little bit. Let's come to like seven or 800. Going over those refineries, you're definitely going to feel some thermals. Okay. Last thing you want is for one of them to explode on us. <laughs> There's the blimp. Yep, another shot of that Porsche racetrack as well. What's all this down here on the left? Uh, this is just the Carson Shopping Center. Okay. So there's a bunch of, there's a movie theater, there's an Ikea. If you guys need to get some furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Before you head back, exactly. take a take a <laughs> coffee table with you on the flight. Yeah. Um, and then that's the Shell, where Shell keeps their gas. You can see one of their logos on one of the big tanks there. Yeah. Man, LA has just got everything, man. Just sprawling. It's huge here. A lot more people. People, I think it's... Um, the biggest city in the U.S. now, isn't it? I believe so. We're not built nearly up as up as like New York yeah. or uh, like any of the cities in Florida. We're all sprawled out. You've probably noticed the only few places that we have any skyscrapers is pretty much in Santa Monica, but yeah. not that many. Downtown L.A. and downtown Long Beach. Yeah. And there's a couple down by uh, John Wayne, if you remember that, but not many. Yeah, so you can double glance at the map. You're on a perfect course to make it through. Uh, if I don't have the maps at all, what I use for my um, my like ground landmark to make sure I miss the airspaces is, can you see the silver pile of sulfur, or the yellow pile of sulfur, I mean? Uh, oh, that's coming up there? Yeah, it's like just a little yellow pile. It's the only yellow thing in front of us. Oh, though. I see it. Yeah. So okay. I know if I fly close to that, I'm not going to hit anybody's airspace. Okay. I thought it was going to be sunnier than it actually turned out to be. Sunnier? Yeah, I put on the sunglasses. <laughs> you want to take them off, man? <laughs> They're prescriptions. So. Oh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, it's been a weird overcast thing here this whole time you guys have been here. Yeah. Unless we fly like 20 miles offshore, we might hit some sun. Yeah, I mean, Bay Area, is, it's been raining and it will rain till next weekend, actually, through next weekend. So uh, we'll take this, even if it's overcast. Yep. All right. So this is the harbor here. This is the largest harbor in the whole entire United States. Yeah, and that's our hotel over there, Seta. Yeah. You want to go do, we can do a circle of downtown if you want. What, do you want to do it or do you want to head back? We can head back, that's fine. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get ATIS. So 12775 here. 12775. Uh, one, 12775. Yeah, all right. Tower frequency 119.4. 119.4. Yeah, All departing aircraft request to contact clearance delivery, pride taxi on 118.15 will position departure point direction of flight. Land on short operations are in effect. 
As it is further information for Southern California available on high water flight service frequencies, advise on this contact you have Zulu. Zulu. Long Beach Airport information, Zulu 2353, Zulu observation. Wind 290 out 3, visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 17, dew point 2, altimeter 3008. ILS runway 30 uh, approach in use, landing yeah, runway 30, runway 27, runway 26 right. Tower frequency 119.4, all ground traffic is 13.0. They get you by surprise, huh? All departing aircraft requests to contact clearance delivery, private taxi on 118.15, will position departure point direction of flight. I missed the ADIS as a result. Land hold short operations are in effect. That's about it. Hazardous weather information for Southern California available on high water. It keeps you on your toes. Frequencies. Advise on this contact, you have Zulu. Zulu. All right. Cool. Long Beach Airport information. Zulu, you can start turning left. Just tell them we're at downtown Long Beach for South Redondo to Ross. South Redondo to Ross. Yep. Request? Uh, request South Redondo to Ross, yeah. Long Beach Tower, good evening. Skyhawk 379er Tango Alpha approaching uh, South, South Redondo to Ross. Uh, South Redondo arrival to Ross, yeah. I have information Zulu. Let's uh, slow down a tiny uh, bit. Zero if it's available, otherwise two fits left. Jesus, dude. I know that guy never. 3700 Tango off Long Beach Tower, Ident. I do a 360 here. Actually, November 9 Tango off, let's go off 0236. 0236. 49er Tango off. Long Beach Tower, helicopter 443 Sarah Alpha over downtown Long Beach, request South Redondo for Ross. 443 Sarah Alpha Long Beach Tower, South Redondo is approved, report the tank farm. Port southbound approved, we'll report tank farm, 3 Alpha. Sweet, so cut us over towards that island now, and let's come up just a tiny bit. Pretty noise uh, sensitive here as well. So at the right window, you're going to get the Queen Mary. It's been here for 50 years now, pretty famous ship, actually. Did you guys check it out at all? Uh, we didn't. Yeah, remember, Niner Tango off. Got something going on, on too. Find a signal hill for left traffic. And then, uh, uh, there's left. the Pike Market in downtown Long Beach. Uh, to go out the left. Niner Tango Alpha. And then as we get closer to the shore, I like to come back up to about 1,000. Okay. The crazy noise abatement lady lives in uh, the taller blue building. Not this closer one that looks like a shades of blue, but yeah. the farther one. Okay. So I come <laughs> the crazy noise abatement lady. Uh-huh. I like it. She complains all the time and makes us have to have noise meetings. And then, uh -huh. so once we get here, I actually start to turn right almost towards that island. And I keep looking for the VSI and realize, oh, yeah, it's on. It's digital. I don't, I personally don't like it. Yeah, it's weird. Go ahead and keep turning us to the right a little bit more, almost towards the uh, oil island there, and you can level us off at a thousand. Is good. And then for the South Redondo arrival, have you done one yet? Uh, I don't think so. So can you see? Obviously, there's the water, then the dirt, and then up in the past the dirt is the grass. Uh huh. And then in between the on the grass, do you see the spot where there's like an X in the sidewalk? Uh, it's like at the so one spot where the... Let's go ahead and start a left turn here. Yeah, you can yeah. kind of see the X in the sidewalk. Oh, I got it, yeah. That's our road that we're aiming for. That's Redondo. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, and then as soon as we cross over this road, Ocean Boulevard is the one right along the ocean here. Okay. As soon as we cross over that, I leave 1,000 and go straight down to 700. That's the building she lives in. All right, so now down to 700. Yep. And uh, the easiest way to do that is actually a little lower on the collective and some forward cyclic. And that actually makes you descend really quietly. <laughs> the <laughs> tricks we we do around here to make sure we don't piss people off. Yeah. Man, you guys uh, have a lot more noise abatement stuff than we do. They're trying their hardest to just get rid of helicopter flying in Southern California. That's not together. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we but. get calls and everything, but yeah, we don't really... You know, you can look inside of the, uh... 33 uniform base approved, runway 2 says uh, right, clear Yeah, I mean, you land. can find stuff about noise abatement, but the land, runway two that's not really right. an issue for us. Okay, clear yeah. again, it's not as much helicopter flying or general aviation. There's a lot, don't get me wrong, but... Helicopter 3 Sierra Alpha, proceed direct, landing at Ross will be at your risk. Direct Ross. Direct Ross. 3 Sierra Alpha. Cool, so... I don't know why he wants us to go direct, that's weird. Anyways, that means we don't have to cross the runway at 500 anymore, right? Cool. So if you do a quick kind of scan of the airport, you know we're in the left corner, right? Yeah, I see it over there. You found Ross. Cool. So go it's the one with all those lights down there. 
Yep, the really bright lights, that's the actual Ross, and then the uh, open hangar to the left of it is the one by our hangar. Cool, and this is tank farm down here? Yep, so you don't have to report it though since he gave us the uh, yeah. direct already. Okay. Above us at 700. So There's a sky right there. Just not enough to run me on turn left, Juliet. Kind of ground. The Julian, contact wall. Um, and then when I come in direct, the one thing I'm always looking at uh -huh. is the most open ways where I'm crossing the least amount of stuff. So I'm, I would pick this little dirt spot right here. Yeah, straight ahead. Yep. Then go ahead and start slowing us down a little bit. Landing light on. Perfect. I'm always taking it back in the R44 how much collective you can put down. Yep. You do have to be careful though. If you ever lower too much and get too much of a descent rate, you can get the needles to split like you're in an auto. Traffic yeah. landing, runway 26 right, runway 30, line up and wait. 1.20, nice about And we'll take the uh, first pad, the one that we took off out of. Okay. A little forward cycling. Bringing that power. And then let's jump off the taxiway. Technically, we're not clear yeah, on the taxiway. Turning base is approved. Runway 26 left. Clear to land. Turning base and clear to land. 26 left. Niner tank off. Got those guys over there. Yep, so we're going to do a right pedal turn, even though that feels kind of weird to do. Sure. To right pedal just to keep it away from them. Yep. Especially because those are two passengers. The one so they're not around helicopters very often. We're yeah. just, uh, outside a clean the last thing we need to do is a little bit of a left turn and then the wind blows his hat off. Yeah. Up the LA River at 1,500. Cessna 3 is your uniform. Uh, about a foot above the ground right now. And exit at Kilo 3 if unable advised. To oh, uh, a little bit higher than you thought, huh? <laughs> yeah. Alright, go ahead and roll down. Alright. Double is 4687. Runway 30. Cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff 30. Southwest 4687. Number 714, Quebec. Cool. Alright, so friction. Number 714, zero, zero, nine, zero, Transition uh, yeah, midfield at about 2000 is approved. Transition midfield uh, at about 2000 <laughs> is approved for Quebec Zulu. Right. Number 4, Quebec Zulu. And uh, what was your request again? I wanted to go uh, 1500 up right, the LA so River. Same thing. 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 We do two minute total shutdown. It's cool enough that you can do a minute and a half and then clutch disengaged and then 30 seconds. How to feel the back of the 44. Man, I mean, this thing freaking flew, man. <laughs> I mean, literally, but also figuratively. Right. Um, yeah, like you noticed, man, I just like... Everything's easy. It was like 100, 110, no sweat, you know? Uh, yep, you can keep your speed up easily. It stays a lot more stable. It's a lot easier to mess with everything because you don't... It's not like you have to focus on flying it near as much as you do the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, yeah, that speed kept creeping up on me, but... Uh, yeah, it felt good to be back. Just waiting. 130, you said? Uh, yeah, so you're at a minute and 10 seconds. At 130, I do throttle all the way closed, and then clutch disengaged, and then at 30 seconds. Cool, man. That was a fun tour. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had fun back there. That was really good, yeah. What was your favorite part? My favorite part? Yep. I mean, seeing the Hollywood sign. I've been to LA a few times, but never been that close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me that transition northbound was bananas. <laughs> that's that's fun to fly too, though. So, yeah. But so you get the fun views, and it's a really fun thing to fly. Yeah. It's yeah, I've heard, I've heard about that. So to get that experience was really cool. And how, how often do you really get to fly 150 above a populated beach? Yeah. I mean, you can, right? But uh, nobody's gonna be happy with you.
<laughs> you, you can do anything <laughs> once. All right, so here's mixture. Yep, perfect. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Wait, and off all the way. So, all right, 30 seconds, and we'll apply a break. Perfect. Headset.